Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Fabian Ruiz to Arsenal. Who says no? Let me know in the comment section because I think Fabian Ruiz could be the signing of the summer for Arsenal. This could be the best signing we could make. Let's talk about it. Before we go any further, we're going to be talking about Fabian Ruiz. We're going to be talking about a couple of other things that's going around in the Arsenal transfer news today. Plus, if you guys haven't checked it out, I did do a video doing a match reaction to the Bournemouth game and also talking about ESR. But we might talk about ESR a little bit here, too. Let's get this show started. Bang! <laughs> Yes, 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 people. What's going on? See, got talks football. We're back again with another video. And today we got some news dropping from Duncan Castle, Fabio Nariz, the Spanish international, the, the, the Euros winner, the man who is playing for PSG right now and can play as an attacking midfielder, can play as a central midfielder, is left footed. And you can see him on both the left and the right side. He's done it at Napoli, he's done it for Spain, and now he could be doing it for Arsenal. Arsenal have open talks to sign PSG midfielder Fabian Ruiz. Yes, Arsenal are moving for the Euro 2024 winner and could have easily been considered one of the Euro 2024 players of the tournament. That is who we are currently after. He's only 28 years old. This is a man who Arsenal were interested in when he was at Napoli, where he played over 125 league games. Now that he's been at PSG since the summer of 2022, he has been sensational for PSG. Uh, sorry, not sensational, but he's been good for PSG. But for Spain, he has been sensational. This is a guy who in under 21's level, under 19's level, this is a man who played for them in the Euros. This is a man who in his in his uh, uh, career for the Spanish national team has not only won player of the tournament, won the golden boot in the under 21, also been in the team of the tournament for the 2024 Euros. He's won numerous league titles with with uh, with PSG and of course won a Copa Copa Italia with Napoli, which was which was one of their first trophies that they won in a long time for Napoli, if I'm not mistaken. Fabian Ruiz, guys, talk to me. What do you guys think about Fabian Ruiz potentially joining Arsenal? This man, Duncan Castle reported this, and Duncan Castle is a very highly respected journalist, plays for the, does uh, reports for the Sunday Times. And of course, what was said in this, in this thing is Arsenal have initiated discussions with PSG for Fabian Ruiz. Discussions are dependent, I'm told, on Arsenal moving a player out of the midfield. It is likely they are coming to an agreement if it will be structured as a loan or with an obligation to buy. Ladies and gentlemen, not only could we be getting one of the best players at the Euros in Fabian Ruiz, we could be getting him on loan. We could be getting him on loan Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand how great that is for Arsenal financially, financial fair play, and, and the profit and sustainability issues that everybody's coming across? This could be outstanding for Arsenal. And, and just to show you guys, we were seriously linked to this man in the past. Let me show you guys what I mean when I say this. We were seriously linked to Fabian Ruiz in the past, but let me know in the comments. Fabian Ruiz to Arsenal. Do you guys say yes or do you guys say no? So let me know. But to me, I'm just going back to 2022 when we were late, when we had Xhaka being uh, sold conversations back then, two years ago before we sold, uh, I mean, years before we sold Xhaka, we were talking about what are we going to move off Xhaka? And Fabian Ruiz was, was looked at as a Xhaka replacement. This is a man who, when you do his scouting report and his style, he's viewed as a player who no, has vision knows how to pass, has amazing ball control, dribbling ability, as well as the technical versatility to play in many different formations. He can play in a 4-4-2. He can play in a 4-3-3. He can play in a 4-2-3-1 and be the guy who's in the 10 and the guy who's sitting. He can be a defensive midfielder, an attacking midfielder, just a regular central midfielder, and more importantly than none, 
he is left-footed. He could be cover for Odegaard. He could be he could be in games where we're playing a double pivot, and he could play that left eight position with him being left-footed and being naturally left-footed. He's somebody who can also can get forward with an eye for goal. Fabio Ruiz has an eye for goal. Don't forget that. He hasn't done it much at PSG, but in the Euros, for example, he got two goals, two assists in a much more prominent position. At Napoli, in the midfield, he got seven goals, four assists, one season in the league. So he can get forward and get involved in the goals also. He might not get you double digits, but he can definitely get involved. Ladies and gentlemen, do Arsenal have the perfect signing in front of their hands? Do Ar Have Arsenal found their solution? A loan move. PSG are willing to send him out on loan. Wow. Wow. Nothing more to be said, but wow. I think this could be a needle mover. I think this could be the type of signing that could change Arsenal for even better. People talk about you need to you need a better team to win trophies. Fabian Ruiz takes so many boxes for us. And from just what I've shown you guys right now, I think he might be the guy. I think this might be the one. I think this might be the one that could transform Arsenal. We, we've looked at the Calafuri signing and we said amazing signing, but nobody screamed this is this is a transformative signing. And you know something? People can't even talk about injuries because luckily he's only missed two games since joining PSG in 2022. Two games. That's crazy. Also, also, people talking about Fabio Vieira. Uh, there, there's been several approaches for clubs for Fabio Vieira. We could move off Fabio Vieira. We're already looking to move off Emil Smith-Rowe. Like if you guys haven't seen the the rumors about Arsenal potentially moving off Emil Smith Rowe is uh, are up there, and Arsenal are still also interested in Mikel Moreno. That is another thing too. So not only are we looking to potentially bring in uh, this man on loan, we could also still bring in Mikel Moreno at the same time. We could bring in two midfielders, especially if we're going to get him on loan. Also. Fabio Vieira potentially moving, that is a game changer also. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that rumor to be floating about. Fabio Vieira could be moving also. And after we sign Ricardo uh, Calafuri and it's announced, Arsenal will turn their attentions to Real Sociedad midfielder Mikel Moreno, and we could be getting the move for Mikel Moreno also. So at this moment in time, we're making a lot of moves in that midfield. Arsenal look to be making a lot of moves in that midfield, and Ricardo Calafuri will get done very, very soon. Now, this is quite sad. Fulham are in advance talks with Arsenal to sign Emma Smith Rowe. 35 million is what the deal is worth, and this deal will most likely get done. At this moment in time, you got David Ronstein, Sky Sports, all speaking about it and saying that it's going to get done. And you also have Mikel Arteta speaking about potential outgoing, saying that Reese Nelson and Eddie and Ketia are linked away. He says a lot of players are going to be linked for potential moves. Uh, one way or another, it's normal at this moment in time. He says that about one thing, but then you know what he says about when when asked about um, Smith Rowe. When asked about Smith Rowe, Mikel Arteta went on to say this: "There are a lot of things happening in the background at the moment, and we've decided it's best not the thing to do to uh, was to keep him away from the game, meaning that he most likely knows that Emil Smith Rowe's transfer is imminent and could happen very very soon." Now, David Onstein did speak about this before the game uh, or, uh, last night and said that Fulham and Arsenal have reached a deal. So that is intriguing, to say the least. And Marseille might be a step closer to getting Eddie and Ketia as they have sold. They have gotten the uh, – Crystal Palace have been given the green light uh, for a proposal of 15 to 16 million for uh, Ismail Sarr. And this could mean Ismail Asar could be joining Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace then could be selling Eze. And Marseille could then go and spend that money to go get Eddie and Ketia on loan with an option to buy. So there's a lot of things happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. But the main question is, do you think, do you think that Fabian Ruiz is the right guy for Arsenal? And would you sell Fabio Vieira? Would you also bring in Fabio Ruiz and Mikel Moreno? And is Fabio Vieira 
Why am I saying Fabio? Uh, Fabian Ruiz. Is Fabian Ruiz the needle mover that we are looking for? Let me know in the comment section. I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy these videos and these short little updates. For now, I bid you guys adieu. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I, 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 I said, wait a minute. Wait.